TikTok is a Chinese data farm. <laughs> this, this story rules because everyone's on TikTok, it's super popular. But did you know that TikTok was bought by Beijing owned Byte Dance Technology in a $1 billion acquisition of US social media apps? Um, now, US lawmakers have been calling in recent weeks for a national security probe into TikTok. Concerned that Chinese companies may be censoring politically sensitive content and raising questions about how it stores personal data. Isn't that awesome? The TikTok's <laughs> owned by China, and I don't trust. Chi- I don't trust China with shit. You know, they're crazy. If a Chinese government or if a Chinese company owns something like this, you know the government is looking at the data if they want to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they don't have an option. It's like pure tyranny over there. It's like tyranny plus. It's like tyranny with a little extra bit of flavor. I was just thinking how funny, like, is it if at the end of everything it's TikTok that would affect the election. Oh yeah, TikTok's gonna bring us down, for (laughs) sure. Now it'll be Facebook again. (laughs) I just saw, you know, there was a big press release about how every intelligence agency, like 10 of them, all made a joint announcement saying that our upcoming election is going to be attempted to be uh, persuaded by, like, Iran, China, Russia, and for us to be vigilant and be aware. And all I could think of, meanwhile, was Mark Zuckerberg being like, hmm, <laughs> time to get paid, baby. Yeah. I'm the meat chef. Because recently he went in front of Congress and he's like, I am i don't think I should ban political ads. With the election coming up, are you kidding me? Maybe after the election, after we make a billion dollars. They're like, and our new president is Vladimir Putin? (laughs) Vladimir Putin is winning all 50 states. TikTok is growing popular among U.S. teenagers at a time of growing tension between the United States and China over trade technology. About 60% of TikTok's 26 million monthly active users in the United States are between the age 16 and 24. With over 110 million downloads in the United States alone, TikTok is a potential counterintelligence threat we cannot ignore. Schumer and Cotton wrote to Joseph Magiquire, acting director of national <laughs> intelligence. I don't know how to say his name. Magiquire. Ma- Magikarp. <laughs> Tick- I'm so bad at names. I don't know how everyone's sp- expected to pronunciate names correctly. I mean, I think been- you're getting worse. But I don't, I've never read these names before. McGuire. I guess I should have known that one. <laughs> TikTok allows users to create and share short videos with special effects. The company has said the United States user data is stored in the United States, but the senators noted that ByteDance is governed by Chinese law. TikTok also says China does not have jurisdiction over content of the app, which does not operate in China and not influenced by a foreign government. But U.S. employees said moderators based in Beijing had the final call on whether flagged videos were approved. The former employees said their attempts to persuade Chinese teams not to block or penalize certain videos were routinely ignored out of caution about the Chinese government's restrictions and previous penalties on other bite dance apps. So they're basically censoring the content there as if it was Chinese audience. Because again, they're afraid of Daddy China <laughs> restricting because China could be like, sorry, you can't operate in the US anymore. So they gotta suck China's dick. Mm-hmm.